Hello all, welcome back to another edition of Man Cave Astronomy. Um, today I want to go over um, a few finer points in the hand box controller. Um, I know we did a quick run through, it was pretty fast, fast moving. Um, just, you know, just generally to get yourself familiar with some of all the sub menus and, you know, just kind of get in there and look and play around a little bit. Um, you know, we got our, our hand box all up to date and everything. And, uh, Today I want to actually go in and go through the actual uh, uh, setting up an actual location for exactly where you are and how to go through and actually do all that and uh, um, it, it, I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video pretty short and sweet um, to the point and uh, it's, it's Sunday uh, August the 16th um, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon it was kind of cloudy and rainy looking out. It sprinkled here just a little bit. I was going to try to get the telescope out and uh, set, a, set up the scope and, and try to do some of the, the terrestrial, um, some of the motor, the smart drive uh, setups that we try to do that we got to be locked into a terrestrial object on. It doesn't look like the weather is going to cooperate today naturally. Um, so I figured I'll go through the, the uh, setup process on how to actually set us up a, a location um, for for like your location wherever you are. Um, show you how to do that, and um, you know we'll go through that. I also want to go ahead and go through the process of how to hook this thing up to Stellarium, and uh, show you around in Stellarium a little bit, and and how we get the mount to function using our laptop and using a Stellarium program and. I've seen there's several other different programs out there on the internet. Um, Red Eye Planetarium, um, I think's one that I've got on my phone. Um, I think you can do it with Google Sky. Uh, don't hold me to that. I'm, I've never really I've been on Google Sky, um, you know, and, and Google Earth and stuff. And I don't know that we can use the mount through that. Um, I've had Stellarium for, for several years now, and I'm very familiar with Stellarium. I like Stellarium. It's a pretty basic um, set up and, and the computer program itself is pretty pretty short and sweet and to the point um, you know not a lot of confusion in there it also gives you a lot of um, there's always a help button you can click on to, to figure out what what they're asking for and stuff so I think it's just a really good free program that you can download off the internet um, you know and I've used it a lot so I'm familiar with it and that's what I'm going to stick with so um, but we're, we're going to get into that probably in part two of, of this uh, video, and uh, and we're going to play around with it. So I'm going to go grab my phone and and um, and everything and kind of get get set up here, and then we'll we'll start the process. Oh, another good news. Um, I have adjusted the settings on my camera, so hopefully we're going to be able to focus actually focus in on the the hand box, and you can actually read the. The red lettering and stuff that as it scrolls across there. I know before the last uh, uh, couple of videos I've done, my camera would never focus in because of the glare off of the the screen on the the hand box. So hopefully I got that fixed, and uh, we're gonna have to have that fixed, especially when we get looking at my laptop screen and uh, and and everything. So. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the series of videos, these tutorials, and uh, please give me some thumbs up, write some comments on there, um, please share it. Um, as this video series grows, um, we're always going to be looking to expand and do do different things, and um, you know, having a good audience base keeps me uh, excited about doing them and, and keep them going. So um, let me go get set up, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, and we've got our. Um, smartphone here and uh, we got our hand box and our mount and everything plugged in ready to go um, so you want to enter your date do just your, your normal setups um, it's about it is 202 here in the old afternoon so we go to three and close enough for now, daylight savings time. No, select object. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get this and bring you over here. And let's see if we can't figure out why. I got the focus. 
I had the focus working earlier. Why it won't focus now, even with the glare. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to go back in and rechange my setting on my my camera here. All right, your main menu. You come up to select uh, select item. We got objects going on there, and we're going to scroll down. Event guided tour glossary utilities. Set up, enter, align, scroll down to date, we've done, time we've done, daylight savings time we've done, telescope we've already entered, targets we're not worried about, sight, sight's what we want, enter, select, when we don't want to select, we want to add, so you scroll down one to add, enter, uh, location, op uh, option, you can put in your zip code if you want. error site list full all right so what we're going to do is we'll just scroll down here and whoop went past it we'll go to delete enter delete we'll delete that we'll enter we'll delete that And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just delete my home here. We'll go through and set up a new one. All right. So now that we're now that I got that done, we want to add, enter, one to zip code two seven eight eight nine. All right. Now we'll back up and we'll go to edit. Enter name. All right, here you can change your name. <clears throat> you can go alphabetically. and what we need to do here we need to get our handy dandy smartphone over here unlock it open it up scroll over to our polar finder and you can see right down there at the bottom under previous peak we have our west and our north latitude and longitude coordinates and we're going to plug those in just like it's reading there 35 35 so we'll we already got the 35 we'll scroll over here 35 enter we'll scroll down to longitude enter and 77.4 so we'll scroll over here 77 zero four enter all right time zone haha <laughs> our wonderful time zone that always gives us an issue look at there negative let me repeat that negative five hours from the international date line enter and name enter is home so we're good and that's how you do it right, you want to back out to site enter select enter home enter and that's it so now that we got our site set up done um, with our coordinates in it um, we're ready to go and that's pretty much it as far as um, 
that's really the kind of the, the biggest struggle that I've ran into so far um, outside of doing some of the uh, the guided tours and stuff let me uh because my camera was so blurry the last time let me give you a better look at what I'm looking at here if you haven't already got this app you can see it gives you the position of Polaris um, up here on the clock the, the time and everything else and uh, see if no, it's just not gonna. It's just not gonna focus in any better than that. But that's better than what it was. You couldn't. I know you guys couldn't hardly even make out what was on there. So, <clears throat> um, this is the the one that I always use because we're when we look through our viewfinders, it's very similar to what we're gonna be looking at. Rather than this, this is kind of a a large larger view of it, and this is the one I always go off of. So. Anyway, just want to show you guys that, and uh, um, and I don't think there's anything else um, that we're gonna really get into um, as far as this goes. So that's it. Um, just want to show y'all how to set your lo actual location up. I think it'll help the the precision of the um, as the mount slews and stuff. And uh, that's pretty easy, easy way to to uh, to do it. As you seen, we went through it. It, it wasn't any big deal um, to do. Hopefully, you guys have already got your positions and everything plugged in. But um, the next uh, video that we're gonna do, um, part two, a I guess you would say of this, is we're gonna actually hook this thing up to Stellarium, and I'll show you how to how to get Stellarium set up and get this thing functioning on on Stellarium to. To kind of tide you over because I imagine it's going to be a little bit before I do any more videos. I'm going to have to save up some money and, and buy some stuff so um, before we get into to anything too much else. So um, if I come up with anything else, I'll definitely put you a video out on it. And uh, we'll see you on uh, Handbox Part 3. Uh, and that'll be hooking Stellarium up. Happy trails.